and I basically make sweet focus recipe videos. Now my videos are almost always focused on my current obsessions. One of them is this pineapple matcha drink from Starbucks. It is so good. I've literally been getting it like almost every single day. The main flavor components are matcha green tea, coconut milk, and pineapple juice. I'm just obsessed with those flavor combinations. The second thing that I cannot stop thinking about right now are these kind of New York style cookies. Now, there's this bakery in New York City called LeBain's and they kind of coined the term New York style because they made these incredible cookies super famous. Now they're basically just gigantic cookies. So they are these massive balls of dough and they're baked in a super hot bread oven. Inside is gooey and decadent and almost molten. They are life-changing. So this week I figured I'd kind of create this New York style cookie, but in the flavors of matcha and pineapple. So without further ado, let's get started. So now we're just gonna start by masoning out all of our ingredients. We have some pineapple bits, cold butter, eggs, sugars, leaveners, and our flour. So we're going to start off by making our green tea chocolate so it can set into a bowl. You have 225 grams of white chocolate to three teaspoons of green tea powder. Have the chocolate melted and mix it together until fully combined. Next up, we have here a cup of dried candied pineapple. We're just going to give that a rough chop and set that aside as well. And hey, would you look at that? It's been about 30 minutes and our matcha chocolate has completely set. So we're just gonna go ahead and give that a nice rough chop. Really, you want these pieces to be pretty big. They're going to suspend in the batter of the cookie and when you break into it and bite into it, it's gonna pack this amazing flavorful punch. Then in the same bowl, you have your light brown sugar and your white granulated sugar. In a separate bowl, you have your AP, baking powder, salt, and green tea powder. Whisk that all together until there are no visible lumps. With about one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste, crack two eggs and one egg yolk and lightly beat. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process of mixing these cookies, because it's a very specific process. So I had my cold chopped butter. I went ahead and added it to the bowl of a stand mixer. We're then going to add our sugars. So really you want the butter cold and you want the sugars to not necessarily cream, but kind of just break apart and come together. So now you're gonna add in your mix-ins. My lovely green tea chocolate here and then my pineapple bits. And just give it a stir until it's combined. Now in this bowl, I have my lovely flour mixture, the green tea matcha powder, and all of my leaveners. So I mix that separately so we don't have to overmix this dough, and now we're just going to add this in. This is kind of an unusual step because normally what goes in after the butter and the sugar are the eggs, but this is going to help give that kind of like crusty, dry texture over the top of the cookie. So now that our dough is ready, we're gonna go ahead and form our dough balls. It's literally like the size of a baseball. It's literally massive. Now the famous New York bakery actually portions out their cookie dough into six ounces each, but I'm going for five ounces each because I want more cookies. You can of course make smaller cookies, but just remember to adjust the baking times. Now I'm just lightly pressing them together. You don't want to condense the dough too much. And then I'm going to pop them in the freezer for two hours. Okay, so it's been about two hours since we made the dough and now we're going to bake them. So I have my oven set at 375 degrees and the next step is super important. Now, as you can see here, I have two cookie sheets stacked on top of each other. This is to ensure that the cookies don't have direct heat with the rack. 
Now your cookie dough should be frozen for about two hours or refrigerated overnight. The trick here is super cold cookie dough and a super hot oven. This is to ensure that your cookies are molten and gooey on the inside and nice and crispy on the outside. Bake them for about 22 minutes and they are ready to serve. So now we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. So this is what they look like. Let's see if we can get a nice cookie break. That's so good. They're crispy on the outside. You have that molten kind of filling and you I can see the nice green tea chocolate in here. That's giving it a lot of really good flavor. And the candy pineapple is giving it a really good texture as well. Okay, so thank you for watching. That's the end of this video. And we'll see you next week. squad thank you guys so much for watching again if you did like that video like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification button to let you know when I upload my sweet focused recipes oh and I do take requests so please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see next thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video